Okay, level three media apprentices. On our website, which is bcotmedia.weebly.com, you need to click on the apprentices tab at the top. This will filter through an overview of the course. Now there's a BTEC component, which you do on a Monday. So you do video production with me, digital graphics with David, and photography with dear Vicky. Then you do some NVQ mandatory units, you can see here. Now, I'm gonna be creating video screencast tutorials to guide you through this. We'll look at unit one today. The remainder of your apprenticeship will be made up, as it says here, with NVQ optional units. You'll choose about five to seven optional units to create a bespoke personalized apprenticeship that best serves your ambitions and needs. So optional units will be added in here eventually. To start with though, we're gonna to go to unit one. So in unit one, you will see that I've already posted here for you the assignment brief which has an overview of the criteria you need to achieve. Also put a downloadable Word doc here if you'd rather use a Word doc than a Google doc as well. So as you can see here, I've embedded the actual assignment brief. I'm gonna show it in Google Classroom as well for you. So unit one, awareness of employment in the creative media sector. So you can achieve this criteria as a written piece of work, as a vlog, as a podcast, or any other creative media way of obtaining evidence, we actively encourage that. After all, it's the subject you're studying, so we want you to demonstrate the use of a blog or a website to capture evidence where possible. But a Word doc or a Google doc is perfectly acceptable as well. Here's the criteria then. Let's go through outcome one. So know about employment status in the creative media sector. So for 1.1, describe the main types of employment status within the creative media sector. So here, you just tell me about things like full-time work, part-time work, uh, working freelance as well. What's the difference between them? These different statuses within the sector. This ties in neatly to 1.3, so you can put these bits together if you want. 1.3 says explain the main implications of each employment status. So for this, you can show how working full-time, part-time, freelance, what has different implications on your job security in particular, your flexibility, the ability to work hours that best suit you rather than the company and working patterns as well. So 1.1 1 .1 and 1.3 go together quite well. I recommend doing them together. 1.2, describe the key legal and taxation differences between main types of employment status. So think about things like tax threshold here. Once you're earning over a certain amount, you are taxed more. Look into tax codes, look into pay as you earn, which is P-A-Y-E as an acronym. Look at tax being owed to HM revenue if you work in freelance. Look at things like national insurance as well for me. Outcome two, it says understand the creative media employment marketplace. So 2.1, I ask you to describe a range of prospective employers. Now a range I would interpret as at least three. Prospective here means it's likely to happen at a future date. So what this is asking you to do is to describe a range of employers you'd like to work for, whether it be Sky, The Guardian, Snapchat, Google, whoever it is. Tell me about a range of prospective employers, so three companies you'd like to work for, and give me a research profile on each of them. Tell me about them, their history, what they do, what they're for, what their ethos and philosophy is, and then tell me about the products that they create as well. 2.2, explain how to choose an employer in terms of your own personal interests, knowledge, skills, and job requirements. So, appropriately enough, you need to demonstrate that when you look for a job, you do so according to these principles here. So, explain why it's relevant and useful and fundamental to make sure that a job appeals to your own personal interests, your own knowledge and understanding. Why is that important? Why is it important for you to have the right skills and ability in terms of software, in terms of interpersonal skills and emotional intelligence? The job requirements of any job. Why is it important for you to be able to meet this? Lastly for unit one is outcome three, be able to, to promote yourself. So 3.1 asks you to create and present a professional standard CV. So we can help you with that. Uh, Wendy Hammond, so W-E-N-D-Y dot H-A-M-M-O-N-D at staff dot bcot dot ac dot uk. He's one of our wonderful learning facilitators in the learning centre downstairs, one floor. 
Email her if you're really struggling with your CV. Alternatively, speak to myself and other lecturers and we'll help you to tidy up your CV. So for 3.2, it asks you to discuss strengths and weaknesses, good points and bad points in relation to your own work, you in your job right now. What you're good at, what do you need help with? Give examples, be, spe be specific and detailed. I was, I'm also asking you here to, as you can see, find a job that you are interested in, that you could potentially apply for in the near future, and tell me what your strengths and weaknesses are in relation to this specific job application. So it might be, for example, an entry level work um, placement or job working at Sky, for example. So what strengths and weaknesses do you have in relation to that specific job application? But you tell me, of course, where you want to work. The last one is 3.3. Describe and pitch a creative idea to an employer or commissioner. So for this, you need to come up with an original idea and be seen to be pitching it to your boss or a third party client, someone else. So what I mean by that is you might have an idea for an app or a website or a blog or use of social media or a short promotional film or any other use of creative media, whether it be a live chat facility on a website, whether it be using live streaming to connect with industry connections to stop the need for as many meetings as you no doubt have. Describe your idea, then pitch it to an employer, your boss, or a commissioner, which is a third party client, someone other than your teachers at BCOT and your employer. It's so come up with an original idea and pitch it. Capture the evidence as video or audio. Any questions about so Unit 1, reach out to me. I'm available on Facebook. So if you need help with anything at all, you can reach out to me on Facebook. I'm not Scott Hayden, I'm Scott Beacott Media. One of the best ways to contact me. So contact me and I'll be able to give you any advice you need, all right? Okay, good luck.